Hi everyone, thanks once again for tuning in to Smash Factor TV. Today I'm out on the golf course again and I'm going to take you out here with me. It's the first time I've played since lockdown. It's been 12 weeks and I'm not just playing any hole, I'm playing this one. It's a mammoth par 5 at Real Golf Club. It's hole number 4 and it's 524 yards long. Let's go and see what score we can do with some more game-changing golf coaching. <laughs> So really excited to be back out on the course again. I'm just playing this one hole today and I didn't want to play just any hole. I wanted a bit of a monster and a good challenge. So I've got one here with this hole. Hole four, par five, and it's 524 yards. Absolutely crucial to get this tee shot in play down that fairway. We've got out of bounds down the left, way left thick rough inside that and down the right hand side we've got lots of rough and a fairway bunker to avoid. Let's see if I can hit the fairway. Okay, we're nicely down the fairway. Let's go and have a look where we finish. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with this result here. Uh, split the fairway. Really enjoyed that tee shot. Like I said, first one I've hit actually out on the course for 12 weeks. Okay, still a very long way to go on this. That was a good length of tee shot, but a good way to go. I'm playing three wood um, off this lie. I'm going to put a link into the video here because I don't know if the uh, camera is going to pick up on the undulation here. My feet are definitely way above this ball. This ball is much lower than my feet so I'll put uh, a link into the video on how to hit off awkward lies and specifically how to hit when the ball is below your feet. I'm going to expect to see off this kind of lie a bit of a left to right shot. It's quite calm tonight. There's not too much breeze, but there is a touch off the sea going left to right. Uh, looking down at the fairway there, not a lot of trouble down there, but we want to get a good connection. I am maybe going to aim down just down the left side of the, uh, of the green on the flag there, um, just to allow for that ball to curve in a little bit, just with that little bit of breeze and with the ball being below my feet. Let's see what kind of connection we can get and how much length we can get up there. Yeah, I just see a little bit of left to right curvature on that, but it's gone miles up there. So let's go and see where we're hitting in from. Oh, 
Okay, so good angle into the green here. Um, the pin's on the left-hand side, so with that left-to-right curvature that I got with the uh, fairway wooden off the lie there, that little bit of breeze coming in, it's giving me a really good angle into the green. It's really important that when you are playing that shot, not into the green, but you're getting ready to come into the green, that you think about which angle is going to give you uh, the optimum uh, direction into the, the flag and the easiest, not having to come over a bunker or anything like that. This is pretty straightforward pitch. Let's have a look how far it is. 63 yards uh, to the pin here. So for me, I'm going to say uh, that's just a nice, easy pitching wedge. Let's see how close I can get with this shot. So 63 to the flag. I think the greens are quite receptive at the moment. So um, we can throw this ball up nice and high, get it to land soft pretty much by the flag. We haven't got to run it in. But again, if you find that shot quite awkward, you could always run this in. But for me, there's quite a lot of undulations here. So the better shot would be to throw the ball up high. I'll put a link into the video here um, to give you some options with when you're coming into the green, um, with which shot to play and what's the best strategy. Uh, so you can have a look at those. But definitely for me, I'm going to throw the ball up nice and high and land it nice and soft so it stops by the flag. Quite a little bit of roll on that there. So obviously a little bit harder on this green than I was expecting. But let's go and see if we can hold that putt. Okay, so not too disappointed there. I've hit the green in regulation. Um, it's been 12 weeks since I've been able to hit shots at kind of 60 yards and at a target. So uh, need to just work a little bit on getting a little bit closer, but we've hit the green in three, we've got a putt. This will be interesting because I've not been out putting on a green for a while. I have got my own uh, putting uh, mat at home, but it's only uh, sort of 12 feet long at the most. This is a little bit longer. So let's see how close we can get this putt. Just looking at the line here, um, looks a little bit like it's coming off the right, just at the very start of the putt, probably the first third. The speed of the ball will take it through that. And as we get to the end of the putt where the ball's slowing down more and it's going to take the break a little bit more, it looks quite flat up there. So I'm going to aim a little bit down the right hand side here, but uh, maybe, maybe a couple of inches just outside the right hole. The main thing with this is to make sure that the speed's good. We want to just hit a nice lag putt here and leave a nice easy tap in. If the ball manages to drop into the hole, it's a bonus. Absolutely online. Let's just go and knock that one in. Okay, so nice straight put here. I'm going to be nice and positive at the middle of the hole. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick a spot that I want to hit the ball directly over, maybe just a foot in front of the ball. And I'm going to concentrate on starting the ball on that line for this sort of length foot.
so first time back out on the course really enjoyed playing that whole very very long par five i wanted to give myself a challenge i wanted to have a few good long hits at that golf ball uh, but thank you for joining me being out here once again and we'll be back on the course soon i hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me play my first hole of golf since lockdown for 12 weeks thanks for uh, for being with me see you again next time with some more game changing golf coaching Bye.